Hi, Deidre here from Our Upcycled Life. Do you want to learn a toilet paper crafting hack? In today's tutorial, I'm going to share a hack that's sure to elevate your crafting skills to the next level. We're going to learn how to create beautiful, professional looking embossed effects on your paper projects. No embossing folders or special tools are needed. With this easy toilet paper embossing technique, you're going to be able to add texture and depth to your crafts in no time. I also want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. We've got lots of work. Let's get started. Some things that you're going to need for this project are some toilet paper. I like to use some school glue. You can also use Mod Podge and a little squirt bottle. I've just got some water in the squirt bottle and I'm just adding a little bit of glue. You don't need very much. I kind of just eyeball it or you can use Mod Podge. It just helps keep all of the toilet paper together when we start doing our embossing technique. I have two techniques to create beautiful embossed paper. So make sure you stick through to the end. I'll show you the second process later on. The first one, I've got a stamp out of my stash and I've got a piece of toilet paper. I've laid it on top of that stamp, sprayed it with that solution, and I've got a stencil brush and I'm just pushing it into that stencil. You wanna be really careful because you don't wanna rip that toilet paper, but we wanna work it into all the little nooks and grooves of the stamp. Now I'm going to just layer up my toilet paper. You can use anywhere between four and eight sheets of toilet paper, depending on how thick and how many plies your toilet paper is. This toilet paper is two ply, so I'm going to apply eight sheets of it. Take your time in between each sheet, spraying it really thoroughly, and then pressing it right in. You want a nice compact pressed piece of toilet paper on that stamp. And I'm gonna show you with another floral stamp that I have the same process. I have this beautiful big stamp of old antique writing. I'm gonna show you how you can do it on this bigger stamp with more than one piece of toilet paper on it at once. Just kind of tear it up so it covers the whole stamp and then go through and pat it all in with that stencil brush and make sure you get any air bubbles or any wrinkles out. Take your time, spray with that glue and water mixture in between each one, and I'm going to put the eight sheets on that one as well. Now we have to let them set aside and I'm going to let them dry overnight. Now I'm gonna show you the second technique. You're just going to stack up your pieces of toilet paper. I'm gonna use eight pieces spraying in between. I don't own an embossing machine or I don't have any plates, but I still love the look of these in my project. So this is a really affordable way to get this type of paper. Now, once I had those eight stacks of toilet paper put together, I got out my stencils and I chose this stencil and I'm just using my rolling pin and rolling that stencil into that wet toilet paper and it's embossing. It's pressing that pattern into the toilet paper we're going to set it aside and let it dry completely. I find that it takes overnight to dry these. I love to go through my house and find things that will create texture on these pieces of toilet paper that we're turning into embossed paper. This is shelf liner and it has a beautiful grid pattern in it. And when you roll it into that toilet paper, Look at the pattern. Now, some of these I have put ink on before, sepia ink and black ink, so when I'm in introducing it into the water, it's transferring onto the toilet paper, but that's okay, because you can always paint your projects after or ink them even more. These are great to incorporate into junk journaling, scrapbooking, mixed media projects. You can make greeting cards, so many possibilities with this and you don't need to spend a lot of money on fancy machines to do it. I had this roller stamp that has beautiful little circles on it. It still had some ink on it from my latch project. So when I rolled it on, it transferred onto that toilet paper, but I like the look. It kind of gives it that aged vintage look. What about a potato masher? Gives a beautiful circle pattern on your paper. Now I've seen other crafters use this same technique, but they didn't add glue or Mod Podge. And you can definitely try that, but I do have best results when I put a little bit of glue or a little bit of Mod Podge into that water. 
That way when it dries, it dries all of the paper together and it doesn't like to pull off the layers. Got any fancy doilies? Look at how beautiful this is. Now here's a little twist. I love putting a little bit of food coloring in my water and glue mixture. Don't need very much and you can spray it in between each layer of toilet paper and then you're going to have a colored embossed piece of paper when you're all finished and these are gorgeous. You can also just use stamps and stamp into your layers of toilet paper, pressing them down firmly so you can get a really good imprint and then set it aside and let it dry overnight. I'm on a roll now. I'm looking through my house for anything that has texture. I had this vase. I rolled it into some. Look at this pattern. Beautiful also. A meat tenderizer. Pressing it into that eight plies of toilet paper. Gorgeous. I had this roller stamp with a little bit of ink left on it from my last project, but look how it transferred. It's beautiful. If you appreciate a good DIY project, you need to subscribe to Skillshare. If you've ever had any questions or just want to learn more about crafting, then Skillshare is a place for you. It's an online video based platform where you can learn anything from photography to calligraphy and the difference between Skillshare and YouTube and why I like it so much is it focuses on interaction, much like being in the real life classroom. The instructor lays out steps and information in a way that's easy to comprehend. It's also ad free so you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills. And with new classes being launched every week, there's something new to discover always. I just finished taking Carrie's paper bead class and it was so much fun. I certainly have taken my bead making skills to the next level because of Carrie's class. So you should join Skillshare and learn a new skill. The first thousand people to use the link on my description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So try it out and let me know what you think. Okay, now I'm gonna show you all these embossed toilet paper pieces it's 24 hours later and I'm gonna show you how they have all dried and what I'm gonna do with them. This one is really beautiful and it's so crisp and clean. This is the one that I punched into the stamp and I'm just trimming around the edges. It had a little bit of black ink from my last project, but that's okay. We can just ink the whole thing. Look how crisp this is. I'm gonna cut around the flower and because there's a little bit of glue incorporated into the toilet paper, it's all stuck together. It will not come apart. This is the large stamp of all the letters and look at how it transferred. Beautiful. These are gonna be wonderful in my junk journaling projects. I'm gonna take some of my ink and just ink over those letters and words. It makes everything pop looks like an old vintage letter and here is all of my papers that I stamped into or rolled or things from around my house so many possibilities it's just something that you can experiment with I have this tag punch and I love making tags with it I'm going to use one of those textured embossed pieces of toilet paper and turn it into a tag just cut a little hole in the top add a little bit of ribbon these are beautiful to add to a gift or you can add them in your junk journaling or your mixed media projects. And just having that texture in it, it's beautiful. I love DIYing my own cards and envelopes. I have a full tutorial on how to make envelopes. I'll put the link down below in the description. You can check that out. But I'm taking one of my food color dyed embossed pieces of toilet paper and I'm gonna add it to the front of this greeting card with some glue stick and I love rounding the corners to finish off these cards and envelopes just kind of gives it a little bit of a finishing touch and it looks more professional great little um, punch I'll put the link to that down below in the description and we've created a beautiful greeting card to give to a friend I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I've shown you how you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on different machines, different products, different plates to create embossed paper. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these next two. Take care.